I'm Chief John Drake. I'm the chief of the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department, and I'm a native of Nashville, Tennessee, and more importantly, a native of East Nashville, uh, right here. And I'm sitting in my old high school. So, so I grew up on North 9th Street, which is uh, just a couple of blocks from uh, this high school. Uh, my father was blind, uh, but he was an excellent dad, was an excellent cook, excellent person, uh, and played a very important part in, in my life as far as uh, being a good man. And uh, my mom was disabled uh, and she wasn't as involved, but uh, I loved her uh, just as much as well. But I had a great, uh, great childhood. I, I played uh, in, around uh, the neighborhoods all the time, uh, lifelong friends, um, uh, walked to school here, um, and, and played sports uh, all the way. There were, there were quite a few uh, mentors in my life. Um, as a man that lived across the street, his name was Thomas Ballantyne, and uh, had coaches. And I had some people in the neighborhood too. Uh, uh, all these people, uh, these men actually, um, for whatever reason, took me under their wing. They saw something that I didn't see. Um, you know, I grew up, uh, uh, I could have gone either way. I, uh, I walked to school with three other kids right up, uh, coming up towards the stadium, and all three wound up going to prison. And so I credit these people uh, because they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to care about me. Uh, and, and, and I thank God because it's like, why, why be? And, and so that actually led me to want to help other people too. How do, I, how do I help? You know, not only people in the community, but you know, our men and women that work for us too, that you know, we can do things, but uh, we can love what we do. We can love our community and we can, we can treat people right. And uh, I get teared up when I talk about that, but <laughs> yeah. My high school years were spent right here at East Nashville High School. I was a really good uh, student. I made all A's and B's uh, all the way through school, uh, president, student council, and I was named the uh, football captain here at uh, East High School for the ninth grade team. Also, Rousel ran track. I was the captain in all three of those sports as well. Coming back to this school brings back a, a lot of memories. I remember graduating here and, uh, and I had to do the invocation in front of everyone. And uh, I was, really, I was nervous because as a, as a kid, uh, I had this bad speech impediment, and uh, it was blah, 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 blah. I just couldn't talk. And I was so nervous about it, and it, but it came off well. And, uh, and so just coming back here uh, brings back a lot of memories, but it also shows that no matter what's going on in your life, whether you have a speech impediment, uh, whether you feel disadvantaged or from a vulnerable community, set your minds to it uh, and work towards your goal and you can get there was hired by the police department March 16th, 1988. And I graduated from the academy, I believe it was September, October of the same year. And then later going to Bethel uh, University, graduating you know, while I was a police officer, but still had the same. I made A's all the way through. My transcript from uh, followed me through and uh, graduated summa cum laude, uh, highest of honors. Um, well, I started my career doing different things within the police department. Um, uh, worked in investigations, I worked in narcotics, the police athletic league. Uh, took the promotional exam and uh, I got promoted to sergeant, I believe it was 2007, uh, and I just set about uh, doing good things. Then I kept going. Uh, it was a pretty quick ascent. Uh, I took the lieutenant's exam, uh, wound up making lieutenant. I got promoted to uh, captain. I did overnight field supervisor just for a short period of time, a few months. And I got assigned to the, uh, be the first ever male captain over the uh, domestic violence division. And so from there, uh, I went to be uh, commander over the uh, central precinct. I never thought I'd be chief one day. And so I wanted to do a new concept. I wanted to do, let's do a lot more community engagement. And, and two reasons. One, it, you, people need to get to know who we are. Uh, if they're going to like us and respect us, and then officers need to go need to know who they are as well. We don't need to go in communities and tell people what's wrong in their communities. They need to tell us uh, what's wrong, and we need to value uh, their input. And that's happening. I'm committed uh, to this police department, and I'm 
uh, committed uh, to this city and seeing us do a lot of great things, which I think uh, we're doing. And I hope to be a chief for a long time. If you come to this department and you set your goal on what you want to be, uh, whether it's an investigator, uh, whether it's a supervisor, uh, you can do it. 